You can call me crazy, but do you not think that this looks like this? And do you not think that this thing right here bears an awful resemblance to this thing right here? For those of you who are not familiar with what has just happened, every four years, 56 countries come together and they put on a smaller version of the Olympics. It's called the Commonwealth Games. And this year at the opening ceremony, which was hosted in my country in England, do you know what they did? They brought out a 32 foot bronze bull and then a big crowd of people got down on their knees and began to worship this bull. Now I know exactly what you're thinking. You're saying, Joe, it's just a piece of art. Calm down, sit down and be quiet. Well, can I say this? If Moses, when he noticed that the people of Israel, after being gone for just five minutes, they turned and worshipped a golden calf. If Moses slammed down the Ten Commandments and his face was filled with rage, is it wrong for me to just simply ask the question, what on earth is going on right now? Okay. I do admit that this could all be one big coincidence. But personally, I do find it rather suspect that right now, in the world we live in, we have never seen more spiritual darkness. We have never had more people in the world who are anti-God, who hate the God of the Bible, and do everything that is opposite to what the God of the Bible commands. And then we tune in on TV, and we see millions of people tuning in to see a big bunch of actors worshipping a bronze bull in a ceremony. Why is that so strange to me? Because there is one God, when there was times of darkness in the Bible, there is one God that the people of Israel repeatedly went back to worshipping over and over again, and it grieved God's spirit. What was this God's name? Baal. And what animal was Baal? You've guessed it, he was a bull. But actually, this goes a lot deeper than just a bunch of people worshipping a bull idol. When Jesus Christ was talking about Satan, do you know what name he gave to Satan? He called him Beelzebub. In other words, you are Baal, you are the prince of demons. And that is so scary because when Moses found the people of Israel worshipping this gold calf, what did that represent? It meant that those people were worshipping Satan. When King Ahab and Queen Jezebel, when they introduced the worship of Baal worship to the people of Israel, what were they introducing the worship of? They were encouraging people to bow down to Satan. When Elijah confronted those 450 prophets of Baal. Who was he challenging? He wasn't just confronting 450 men. No, he was confronting 450 men who work for Satan. So if this is how it looks, what is it that the BBC is doing? The BBC is encouraging people to worship Satan on live TV. But hey now, there is actually another instance where bulls are described rather negatively. The Bible says, many bulls have surrounded me, strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. Now, you're not going to believe this, but literally last week, me and my friend got charged at by a cow. We're on a sort of popular walk that's known as a family-friendly route, and we notice a large pack of cows, about 15 of them, and they were feeding their calves. But what was particularly disturbing is that there was one large bull. Now this wasn't an old decrepit bull where you think, oh it's fine, I can outrun this thing. No, this bull was stacked, it could do some real damage. So as we're trying to creep past, suddenly one of the cows turns round and thrusts its head into my friend Paul's chest and starts charging at him. Now my friend Paul, he's not the biggest guy on earth, but he said, do you know what, I just went into crocodile Dundee mode and I put my hand on the bull's head and I just pushed it back and I saw it literally what was happening was Paul was getting pushed back by this cow and while all of this is going on my wife Emma is screaming out crying my baby Samuel my baby so what we did is eventually we managed to pull back from the cows they followed us up a little bit and we climbed up this hill over a wall to get to safety now the moment we got to safety do you know what verse came to my mind it was this verse in Psalm 22, that bulls, great bulls of Bashan, have encircled me. And it made me think how terrible this must have been for Jesus Christ, because that's who Psalm 22 is talking about. It's talking about Jesus Christ, not with real bulls, but with people encircling him laughing at him, throwing out all kinds of accusations, mocking him, saying, if you are the son of God, him, him, if he is the son of God, 
Bring yourself down from the cross and then we'll believe. People spitting on him, people ripping his clothes off him, people striking him, people crucifying him. Jesus must have been terrified on that cross and yet he went to those great lengths. Our brave saviour went to those lengths to save you and me. On the cross he wrestled Beelzebub, he wrestled Satan and he crushed him and proved all of his enemies, all of his foes wrong when he rose from the dead on the third day. He paid the ransom that you and I could never pay. He paid the debt for our sins. And a bit like my friend Paul, how he just went brave and he protected me and Emma and our child. It's a bit like that. Jesus Christ puts his hand on the bull, on Satan, and holds him back and protects us, his children, by shedding his blood. And whilst we're covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, we're safe. Can I ask you a question? Are you covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you come to the one who paid the price for your sins and asked for forgiveness? Because whether you believe that this is Baal worship at the Commonwealth Games, there's one thing you cannot deny and it's this. Things are getting darker and you need the light of the world. The only light that this world needs, the only hope we have is Jesus Christ because he will defeat this darkness one day. And the Bible says that we are called to come out of Babylon, get out of Babylon, get out of this idol worship, get out of all of this sin, all of this rottenness that will drag you down to hell and turn to Christ, our safety, our salvation and our hope beyond the grave. Please consider what I've said today and please turn to the Lord Jesus Christ in repentance and faith. By the way, have you heard of Kendrick Lamar? Have you seen how he's been mocking the Lord Jesus Christ? If you've not, you need to watch this video right now. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. I really want to see you again and I want the opportunity to tell you about Jesus. God bless you all and thank you for watching.